Nine and six months. No, it was the whole, can you love a person and not trust them? Yeah. Yep. Now, this, one, <laughs> this the one with the uh, relationship, right? This is, can you love a person and not trust them? Yep. Yes. Yes, but the other. <laughs> Did you say what? Yeah. Yeah. And we're out. Yeah, you can. Not a smart move, though, because if you and love I'm a person and you don't trust them, you just causing yourself a whole fucking life of misery. Because for one, you attached to that person. You, If you don't trust them, you worry about them cheating. Yep. You worry about them doing this, doing that. You worry, 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 worry. You gonna drive yourself fucking crazy. Y'all be fine. Loving a person that you can't trust and y'all gonna all y'all on the time. So you just really creating a whole ball of misery. Should've got somebody with a lower body count. Yeah. Uh, damn. <laughs> well. What that gonna change? Uh, he, he, he was, I'm so hard broke. if it's broken. <laughs> Jeez, what do you mean what it's going to say? He is a surgeon. I'm just throwing a jab. He is a surgeon. Let's carry on. Well, look, she got it's a low body. Look, it's, look, it's, 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 it's easier. It's easier. just a joke. Look, Let's look, carry on. Look, it's easier. It's easier, it's easier, it's easier to fix a heart with a low body count than it is to fix a heart with a bad body count. Yeah, it is. I'm a damage. They real damage. You don't know how long they did in their relationship. Mm. Yeah, people that ain't got so many body care. I'm just saying, you know, we yeah. just, I'm just throwing it after. That's damage. You can, you can. To me? You know, that's hard surgery. No, you know, I said that when I was 20. I ain't in. I ain't fixing. We ain't doing no fixer uppers. You got to come home. <laughs> you have to be trying to figure out how long they've been in them, them little three relationships. Yeah, they can be like 10 plus, 10 plus every time. Can we get out of the house without touch? That's what we talking about. What are you talking about fixing hearts? <laughs> we ain't fixing nobody. I already gave my answer. I'm finna go. I'm I trust. I mean, I'm gonna get it. Trust you. Mm-hmm. Well, do you want some time now? No, my head. I drank it so damn much. I didn't drink so much. I had too many. So this relationship wild or just pure? Because uh, oh, a lot of people love people and don't trust their kids. Well, I, I, I was just advised don't do it. It's not worth it because nah, you, you, you create a whole world of misery. Then you're going you to keep doing that. You're going to keep loving them. You're going to keep loving them. That's too much trust. I mean, yeah, you can still love somebody, but at the same time, once you lose trust, they your love going to really be, you know, you can regain I mean, yes, you can regain it, but it all depends on the, it all depends on why. Why the trust was gone? Yeah. I so, love you. I don't trust you. I can love you. Don't trust you. I can still be there for you. I'd like, rather you trust me, like Mister Lamar. I'd rather you trust me, me first than to love me because then we're gonna be all right. But if we got love without trust. That's it. That's it. Because if I trust you, I trust that you're gonna do what the fuck you need to be doing. But I don't trust you. I can love you. I'm still gonna be down for you. you know? So since she got a headache, we're going to try to rush this last question about the whole cheating thing. What's the last question? Yeah, he got a uh, Yeah, he got a tree. It was the tree in Sierra. Now, Sierra came in and she said it was a generational curse before we... Not generational, if you ask me, but okay. I don't think it's a generational curse for... She said said she said she, okay, I don't know if I'm saying it right or wrong. Either she said she's been married 20 plus years and she ain't never seen a faithful relationship. Uh, what did she, she say? She said a relationship over 20 years that haven't, that the that nobody's cheated or something like that. Like they ain't had a problem. Okay, name of if, if you feel that everybody in the world cheated, something's ah, fucking wrong with you. Everybody don't cheat. Hold on, hold on. Everybody don't hold on. cheat. Oh, and it was just like I was saying earlier. I mean, you said name that person 20 plus years that they never cheated. Then you said you were away. I mean, there ain't no market for, hey, this is a faithful dude. I can go on Google right now and Google how many people done cheated. I pull up all these celebrities and all this junk of people cheating. But you can't go on there and Google the same thing and find, hey, this has been a faithful relationship for 20 years. No, bro, this has been a faithful relationship for 20 years. Ain't nobody ever talk about him cheating. Don't nobody advertise that. So you can't sit here and say that it ain't possible for it to happen, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you ain't never heard nothing about him cheating. But so no, on serious though, there is some relationship where the male don't cheat. 
Yeah. As far as it being a generational curse, I, I don't agree with that. I mean, some people believe that. I mean, you look at history, yeah, it is put in there where they have mistresses and stuff like that. But, you know, just off the rip saying that, hey, there ain't nobody who's been faithful in a relationship, period, that's not a fact. Y'all saying yeah. truth and facts, this is a fact, that is not a fact. Yeah. There's a lot of successful relationships where it hasn't been nobody who cheated. And of course, no, I can't pull it off the top of my head because every time you look up something about a relationship, what's the first thing you get? Somebody cheating. Well, somebody being abusive. Somebody this, somebody that. They don't advertise the positive parts of relationships. Yeah. So if you look at society, when you look at relationships, I talk about relationships on this podcast a lot. At the same time, you're going to get more feedback on the negative than you're going to get the positive. So, ain't nobody going to go on their page and be like, hey, look at me. I've been married 15 years and never cheated. Because what's understood ain't got to be said. So, why would you brag on being faithful? What is the point? Like Rose Warren. So, of course. They have commercials. They know they probably do. And guess what? I get to put myself out But from that person's perspective, it can seem impossible if you haven't personally seen that. Exactly. Because we all live in one world, but there's a million worlds within a small world. We all all have our own reality. If you done been faithful to a cheap motherfucker, you... In a way, you have seen it because you don't see yourself not. You don't see yourself not cheating on you. I mean, maybe within yourself, but you don't see it in other people. And okay, but you, we all done had friends where you done seen they've been faithful in their relationship. No matter if the other person cheated or not, they've been faithful. You know what I'm saying? Well, I've seen it, but that doesn't mean that the person asking the question has seen it. So that they're just so speaking from so, their, so you their tell truth me their reality. You gonna see yourself never being faithful to a person if you did. The way you see, you know, you ask me, that means you've never seen yourself be faithful to a person. You mean you talking to me personally? No. Oh, okay. From, from you know, a person saying what they said, that means you never seen, you tell me you never seen yourself be faithful. I mean, it's that's, possible, that's but what I sometimes, know. like, sometimes it's hard to recreate something you've never you seen. You have been cheating. Sometimes it's, recre- it's hard to recreate something you've never seen. For some people. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. a lot of people call themselves godly the people, and one thing he say is, um, Believe in the unknown. Uh, I forgot how it's worded. To believe in, in, dang it, dang it, it was right on top. I mean, of I get your gist, but at the same time, like, I mean, nobody's just perfectly godly. Like, sometimes we get wrapped up in in what we see. Society. Yeah. Now tell me, tell me one thing. Well, you go on a TV show, or uh, her on the radio, or even reading a magazine where they say, "Hey, this is a faithful relationship." Give me one book. But I can give you a million what they talking about people cheating. Because no one really knows. No, I mean, no one really knows because we're not with people 24-7. The reason why like we didn't talk about cheating is because someone got caught. Exactly. But see, they don't advertise negativity sales. Yeah. It's just like on TV shows. You see the drama, you see the cheating, you see all that, and you intrigued by it. You're going to watch it. Would you watch a TV show where everybody's faithful, everybody in love, everybody happy? No. I don't watch TV. Would you read a book on it? We don't see some shows where it's like Exactly. But when you see that drama and all that, you go, oh, okay. Oh, he stepped out. Oh, she stepped out too. Oh. Now, if you see, oh, he could have cheated, but he loved his wife enough not to cheat on him. Like, damn, this shit boring. Why he didn't cheat? And then people get a thrill out of it. Dang, he should have cheated. She would have never known he cheated if he would have... Well, people get a thrill out of it. People get a thrill out of it in real life. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy. Some people think that peace... But then turn around and say they want something loyal. It's it's boring. What? Some people don't don't know the the difference between peace and boredom. This relationship is boring. boring. No, it's not. It's peaceful. Peaceful. It's not all that drum and all that extra. And you know it's crazy, a lot of relationships break up because it's boring. I'd be like, did he beat you? No. Did he cheat on you? No. I mean, was he broke? No. He was a good person. That's why I said it. It's boring. Okay, but that's what I'm agreeing with. Listen, but that's why I said. If she's not crying, you're doing something wrong. (laughs) (laughs) That's what I said. And you know what's crazy? They they need some type of drama. Fuck that. I'm sorry. They need some type of drama. Not all of them. Not all of them. Not all of them. 
<laughs> Just like when all of all people don't cheat. So y'all need to stop saying that because all people don't cheat. She said I'll wait. That's what about that's easy to find. Well, these people who stay with males, y'all shouldn't be me. What about that? What do you mean? Yeah. There's a lot of females out there saying with niggas they know they shouldn't be with. Shouldn't be with. Why shouldn't they be with them? Would you choose would you choose your a male over your child? If you had kids, would you choose a uh, young woman? Depending on what some I wouldn't even choose my dog. Sir, I wouldn't even put a woman over my over my dog. Sir, so I definitely not doing that a child. Exactly. I'm not being with nobody that uh You're yeah I have to choose between my kid and my child and, and my nigga bye. nigga bye cause my child come first by you with some of y'all stay with, with child some of y'all ass. stay with niggas that beat your ass and won't she your, your children tell you to leave them alone you don't they you like that beat your ass. that's just they like that. they like choose it. your kids over that nigga cause that's who gonna have your back <laughs> every step of the way yeah you want them to go back me what I mean, your kids gonna beat up hell. You know what I'm saying? If you take them care of, you're bringing up some bad memories. What? She put her hands on you. <laughs> no, <laughs> bro. She told me this is a long. She told me I'm leaving because you're too good. Oh, and, oh you know, no, fam. He ain't lying. Keep going. I'm gonna tell you a story too. What the? No, no I, gotta, I gotta leave because you're too good. You know, I ain't trying to do you like that. Da, 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 da. She was ready. And then I hear. No, she was ready. Uh, she was ready what he did. It's like, oh, did you hear about da, da, da? Like, her boyfriend be beating her up. And I'm like, damn. Like, I guess nice guys finish last. Yeah, they do. She was that's ready. Know. That's why I, I, I was no. ready for I had a female on my team. I told him, no, no, I ain't gonna put my hands on you. No, but you shouldn't let nobody change who you are. Because I had a female tell me like this Hey, I like being punched. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, 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 that's what I'm saying. And we cool, you know, we weren't dating, we were talking about dating or whatever. We got to kicking it, everything good. And from time to time, she would do some little slick shit, like pushing it and like, like, bitch, don't push me. Like, that's her love language. Let, mm-hmm. Thank you. And I'm then the right. bitch told me like this. I said, you keep fucking with me. Like, you want me to really fuck you up. And she told me this, you too soft. I said, what you mean? She said, at least beat my ass and let me know you give a fuck. I put it on my podcast, my other one, when we was talking about domestic violence. Mm-hmm. Then you got females that are sitting here and saying, dude, ain't good enough. Because he don't do enough good shit. So they think he a squirt. Well, I went to school in Plano, so. So you sitting here, really work out. you sitting here and you got a lot of dudes that will cut these females off because they like, this bitch is not going to. Stop until I really knock the fuck out this hoe. And some of them want that shit. Some of them like that shit. Well, there's I don't think I can tell you. If you do that and nigga, that ain't for me, nigga. You know where she don't want shit. What did you say? What? (laughs) Say it again. (laughs) Say it again. Say it again. Yeah, I want to hear it. If you're a good ass dude and that female tell you she want to cop out, you know what I'm saying? You know what it is? What's up? Most of the time, she be wanting some, they really just want some raw, hardcore ass sex, and you ain't giving it to her, you still being a uh, sweet nigga. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm still in high school, man. Like, calm down. I threw my ass, nigga. That's the wild side. What do you mean? <laughs> high school? Hell yeah, yeah. I'm I'm you still right? 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 I'm not trying to see you. I'm not trying to see you. That's when you're trying to see him. Hey, I'm in a lot of bras, nigga, in the game. I ain't trying to see you, nigga. It's my big game, coach. High school, that's when you out there like, am I really cold or am I just like, I'm trying to see you. 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 Hey, like I said earlier, she. Well, I know that now, so. It's too late. I'm sorry, you, he's a good dude, ain't he? So, what's with this whole, because I heard females say that, that whole aggressive shit. Okay, aggressive sex. Let's just throw that out there. Females know? say they want that shit, and then sometimes you give them to them, right? And then, and my mind is, y'all have this little 
aggressive this time, aggressive that time. Mm-hmm. In our mind, it's like, oh, you like aggressive? So be supposed to be aggressive the whole time. You gotta and y'all that. ain't like that. Y'all like, no, just that day, nigga, not today. Yeah, that yeah. time I wanted you to be aggressive, but now, and we sitting there, all right, and you better let the goddamn dog out. And we like, yeah, bitch. And y'all looking at us like, oh. Wow. Y'all looking at us like, what are you doing? Motherfucker, you just told me I wasn't aggressive enough last that week. That ain't that. Now ain't that I'm that being ain't aggressive. Like aggressive. Not they this want. time. Not this time. You gotta mix it up. Every, every so you gotta be aggressive every, sometimes. You know, you know, you know, what it is, game, what it is meaning, out. you know, because some people feel like they kind of make you love. You can't, you can't just be on it all. Slow shit, like, yeah, bitch, you mind, I'm finna make love. No, better right? I'm finna make love this pussy. You can do it like that, but you know, you gotta have some, some, mm, dude, you know, not just. Alright, so I got you. This is what you all, do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's so like, this, 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 right. right. no, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. With David Ruff. No, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? You got to mix David Ruff with David Ruff. You, you, you make me a playlist, right? You make me a playlist, right? I'm my playlist. Right. You have me on the playlist. You have your Usher, you know what I'm saying? A little genuine for like the first, yeah. you know, three or four songs. And then after that fourth song, you just cut on some Three Six Mafia. Motherfucker! <laughs> Hold on, what's my, what's my name when you say, like, fuck it, you want the genuine note, and then after that, cut on some Tupac, get the fuck out of here. I mean, the, the playlist just gotta be, gotta be yeah, bipolar, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So you gotta be silk, and then turn around and be, uh, what's his name, Yo, Jock, look, my mama beat it up. Yes. And then switch back. Yes. So that's my problem, pussy nigga. It's, it's yes. Gotta be, it's gotta be. It's gotta be the right rap music, though. You can't just you, the the playlist. So I was kind of playing when I said Three Six Mafia, unless that song hit it from the back. But um, anyways, <laughs> so you, you just gotta be like the, the, the really playlist. Good. You know what I'm saying? And but everything is is duality, man. Too much of anything is. is, is so you gotta be goddamn near a bravo cop. Well, it's like we say. We we like girls to be. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a woman in the streets and home, that's duality. Correct? Duo. Well. You know what? Uh, I, I had read this book a long time ago. I had went to the library. And I was talking to this cat, and I said, man, I'm trying to read these books on women. Old school cat told me, he said, nigga, you know what I mean? This library all day. I said, why? Well, he said, nigga, I've been my whole life trying to understand women. And I still don't get it. Nigga, read every book you want to read on the woman. You still ain't gonna understand her ass. She don't even understand her damn self. What if we're not supposed to understand her? <clears throat> so, so then how do you know what to do with what you don't know? If you can't understand a book, how the fuck can you read it? Hmm. I mean, I don't think you can have it down to the T. Yeah. You won't even know a whole person. I mean, I don't know. I don't feel like you have to understand everything. Well, of course, you can't. you can't. Sometimes you gotta know when to bow out. If we debating or we arguing about something, I just don't understand your viewpoint. Sometimes I'm like, all right, I'm gonna let you have it. I'm not saying you win, but just like, I, I just gracefully bow out. I don't feel like we can rap. No, I'm just I mean, whatever. Can't win them all. True. I let my girl. I let my girl. No, listen. No, one time we was arguing. I knew I was right, but I was like, man, I don't want the last ten arguments, man. I'm gonna just let her win one. All right, y'all. We gonna sum it up. That's it. We done. Hold on, I missed the last part. What? Nope, we're done. No, no. Until <laughs> next time. On the next episode. <laughs> I said, tell the girl she can't win them all and see what happened. When I would. She not gonna win them all. She's not gonna win them all. Look, you're gonna win the ones I decide. You're gonna win the ones I let you win. I can't go. I don't feel like arguing. No, because. Say, so you're gonna win no argument. I, it ain't that. I will. I can't even. We can't, you know, we can't speak on it. You know. You're gonna get a headache trying to argue me. I will run you in circles. You're gonna get And we'll argue like a mother. But the thing of, females don't really be giving down if they want. They just want you to shit. Yeah, tell me I want, baby. Shit, shit that you die. Yeah, I just really want you to just say shit. Yeah, you want some shit that shit down. 
Shut that shit down. And, and that's the only way you're going to get me to shut that shit one, down man. is by telling me I won. But y'all ain't like y'all didn't hear that because I ain't probably telling y'all that. But yeah, that's really what they Y'all never win. win. It don't matter. We don't give a fuck about really winning. Okay. Well, as long as you cool You didn't winning, tell me that I won. You're going to so have a 5% shit win rate. Down. And after we shut this <laughs> shit down, you, you already know what's coming. You have a 5% win rate. You already know what's coming after we shut this shit down. Sweet. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> you better need to put another RB in that goddamn uh. Wait a minute. Wrap up. Uh, <laughs> 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 You know what time it is. I want to argue with you and I want you to set me off on just so we can go. Uh, hey! Well, hey, y'all better stop taking it. Y'all better stop taking it. Y'all better stop taking it. See, you just let me say what I'm finna say, and you heard what I'm finna say. Y'all better stop thinking females don't like have sex like that. We do. It just be, shit, sometimes we don't really be feeling you like that. We, if it's with the motherfucker that we feeling like that, and we, ooh, sexually attracted to, yeah, yeah, bitch. If I do it, if I can do it every day, I would. So you gotta make a cry. You gotta make a cry. Nah, you ain't gotta make a cry. Hush. You just said you gotta make some drumming in your life. You said that. Mom. We saying the same thing. No, you don't need no drumming. We pretty much saying Who's starting to argue? Huh? Who started the argument? Time to go. Hey, that was our argument. I finished them, though. <laughs> <laughs> I can only... Results may vary. Look <laughs> Alright, y'all. We out. Like I said, leave comments in the... Uh, we will respond. You know what I mean? So, the next one we're going to do, I don't know what it is, but it'll be after the 4th of July. You know what I mean? <coughs> Shoot, what's wrong? Thank y'all for tuning in, but we out. Well, like, like a like a light. I just don't think like that. So a lot of times when women do approach and they say something, it's gonna fly. But one thing about my personality is I'm direct. Yeah, you was very direct with it, right? <laughs> so you she walk, came fuck out like so that. She came, she came up and was just like, "Hi, like, what's your name?" Then, okay, boom. That's just 
That's just how I am. Maybe I'm Cold socially awkward. Blood in. But I, I don't know. Like smooth, like being smooth, that's not even one of my characteristics. When I approach a woman, I just have to be direct, I'm just straight to the point. Like ass and take you out to eat. I've had a female ass to take me out to eat, which was weird. Why you gotta be weird? That ain't weird at all. A random motherfucker asking you to go, hey, would you like to go out to eat? You look cute. <laughs> don't guys do the same thing to them, though? Yes. She was ugly. Oh, wow. well, <laughs> so it wasn't about a random thing. So it, was, it was like, that's, 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 that's a cheesy pickup line. Can I take you out to eat? We had a bar, nigga. I don't know you. I'm in a group. It's me, my homegirls, my homeboys. Okay, can I take you out to eat? We at this bar. So you at the club, nigga, just walk up. Can I take you out to eat? Hey, dude, man. You approach me, something wrong with you. Jimmy, what would you do? What would you do? Okay. You want to know what the club line nigga say? Okay, right now, hold on, right now. We all at the bar. Females just walk up. That's a pickup line, see? Uh, no. Don't even know. Exactly. Okay, now you're talking about this one. It's also like, because that was a younger, so I actually had a female approach me. You don't know what I got. I had a female approach me at church. I was just over there. I'm looking to the right. I look to the left. She's like, hey. And I'm like, and she's like, you seem pretty stoic. Like, that. Uh, she just started, I mean, she was right, but it's like she had my personality to a T. She just started naming all these characteristics that she immediately observed. And what did I do? I took a step back. It and it's just weird. Nah, no, because I feel like, I mean, I still believe in gender roles, so I believe that I'm supposed to. Supposed to approach right. you yeah. if a woman and she was That's fine too. I'm not saying that I don't have five women, but it's something just wasn't adding up. You know what I'm saying? Me that you uh, she we together. You better not wait for me to tell you we together. Well, I see. I'm going to pick up nine. I seen the homeboy doing my family. They watch and they go last. He looked at you straight. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, that's what I said. Like that's what I said. Yeah, 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 that's and, direct. And, look, and he actually got the number. That's direct. direct. How? If I just told you you ain't a dime piece or anything, I'm just telling you. I, I mean, you are right, looking. I mean, I, 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 I had a girl tell me she wasn't really attractive to me. She was down. That's how you tell me that didn't work. No, not with me, you know, but I would rather you tell <laughs> me. Because you said you ain't a dime piece or anything. Hold on, because you know, I'm still checking myself. Hold on, have you seen me? Hold on, what? 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 That's your ego talking. Yeah, I, I, but I put my own head up. Can't no nigga. But see, that's why I was like, dude, I've seen that shit work. I heard, I was in the business. What you gonna tell me? I ain't no team. I mean, I ain't no dime. I thought that was disrespectful. I mean, you know what? Ain't so fat. You ain't a dime piece or anything, but we can work out. I heard that. I think that's what she likes. That's why. You better not. You better not tell me I'm ugly. Then I heard a dude go up and tell a chick, hey. I can be your future ex boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And then when shit worked, he got to know. Mm-hmm. How the I mean, fuck does that shit work? work? Exactly. That's that, that, that damn song. What's up I, I don't know. I, nah, I, I, mean, cause that's I just I, know. I, 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 I know the way Gwen is out. Yeah, nigga, I'm not trying to holler at you. I just know, you know, y'all niggas ain't like. Why don't you just say that? Because it ain't like it used to be in the back. Oh, they mean? used to give a nigga no, a fake number. Nigga, I don't know. 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 I what you mean you gonna go? You gonna keep going still try to holler? Man, listen. So I'm getting this. I met this girl way back in the day. Yeah, and I'm just gonna block you. Let's just say her name was. You can't do that. Let's fake name. I don't know. Can't do that. Stay safety. Okay. So I walk up. I'm chopping it over, Stacy. I'm like, boom, boom, boom. Can I get your number, Stacy? He's like, no. I'm like, okay, cool. She said she got a boyfriend. Bam, bam, bam. And that's she said she got a boyfriend. But whether if it was, again, you well, listen, you did, whether no. if it was true or not, I walked away. I didn't feel ashamed because I stuck my chest out and I at least had the nerve to approach her because most right. niggas are scared as hell. Number two, we chopped it up for, it had been like 10 minutes. And so I'm just like, well, even though I didn't get the number, this stranger, this beautiful girl gave me 10 minutes. She could have just bought me. Right. Yeah. And so I'm like, just... The way I think is like learn to appreciate the small stuff. Yeah, but you know what? Now I'm talking about seeing she see you again, she's gonna get at you. Yeah. But you got 
all niggas ain't like you. I wish you I got some niggas that you can tell it to. I'm telling you, I got a boyfriend. Niggas still gonna shoot a shot with shit. Can I be your friend? That's how niggas think nowadays. They don't think like that. Nah, I don't so that nigga gonna shoot you this niggas, I already I'm know y'all niggas ain't like y'all is in the old days where y'all gonna hit me up after I done left them in front of you. Finna try to hit my number. Let me go and give you this right number so you can hit me up. So boom, yeah, I got yeah, your yeah, number. Yeah, so block yeah, your number. I'm not gonna answer you soon. Nigga be like, I need your number. I used to do that. I'm gonna call it right then and there to see if your phone light up. Yeah, I always say my phone did. And oh, I'm gonna tell you, she give me your number. You know, my she in the car. But I mean, that was back in the old days. Like now, I really do not call the approach. I don't got approach any woman that I do not know. So you see a woman you want to talk to, you're not gonna approach her. I don't. That's cold approaching. I don't approach women I don't know. We're gonna meet naturally so, some type of way. So how you gonna if you supposed to be playing the dominant role like you say? Right. How you gonna approach a woman that you ain't gonna approach? Now, if I'm at church, church like, so if I'm at church and I see you in Bible study six or seven times, like you know, when we've been around each other, I had a chance to to peep you out. Like, yeah, but I'm not just going to holler at some girl pumping her gas at the gas station. I don't care how good she Yeah, I wouldn't do no shit like that. So that's I, what I, I mean. I wouldn't know like y'all. Like what if, what I mean is this to y'all, because I see stupid shit all the time. I see the dumbest. I would be pumping gas since yeah, I'm walking the stove, and I heard niggas say crazy shit. Oh, you, you going to let me get that gas for you? Mm-hmm. Or ask one of the little dope fiends in the house. Yeah, no more. Pump that gas for how you gonna try to holler at me and ask to pump my gas? You should have paid for it. You seen me get out of my car, you feel hey, like right. you wanna holler at me? Go pay for my gas, nigga. Use no, your no. money. Why you what? just wanna pump my gas? Bitch, I can pump my own. Too much. I can pump my own right. gas. Don't think yeah. you're doing something because you wanna pump my yeah, gas. Yeah, you, you, gonna gonna do do you gonna do something, you wanna really get damn. Yeah. Don't think you need some pickup lines, y'all don't hurt. It's corny with niggas in the top. I'm not corny if niggas tell you you need your pussy off top. No, no, you. That type shit, niggas. That's how niggas operate now. Y'all like that? Bro! Excuse me, sir. I don't know where your mouth is. 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 First of all, why would that be the approach? They do it. They do it. So they just walk up to y'all and be like, hey, I can. What how they say? I have no control. Why the fuck you look at you? You already know they look you up and down. Yeah, so you look like you clean the bitch. So they worse than hoes. Cause that's just how hoes used to do us. Hoes used to look at us and be like, damn, I suck your dick. You got big. But you got niggas. You got niggas that say they ain't chance too. Oh God. Look at her. I can't tell you. I don't cheesy pick up line. I can't really tell you that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm saying that. That's why these hoes is talking about hot girls coming and shit. Cause niggas just walking up talking about I ain't pussy. Nigga, 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 that, that's a, if you let them hit after that, that's shit. That's a bonus to them. Okay, Dude, I got a question. Yeah. I got a question. So what does work? We talking about what doesn't work. What does I work? Know, like, just be authentic. Just be authentic. So what he got to say? That shit ain't that. That you shit ain't okay. Okay. Got 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 What if he's watching right now? I don't give a damn. I got to know you. What if he's I, watching I right now? I people that I know, so, you know, that means, yeah, it's. Shit, we both got attracted for each other. That's what I just That's said. That's how I'm going to ask you. No, 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 I'm talking about no. me. I'm talking about me and new people. Like, and I feel like I just see how people know you, like, What's our business? I want to see how they're doing. Now I get with y'all. I didn't know. I didn't know you know. I didn't know niggas was doing that kind of shit. Just all the real. I eat your pussy. And not know what you don't mean I want to mention. Because it works for some people. I know some niggas I've been doing. I don't want to know that some female. I know some people I've been doing all the time. Some people. Some people. I'm telling you, this is some new shit. So you ain't got none of your partners told me they told me this shit? No, because niggas, I'm not going to like that. Not gonna, if they do that, that shit, they're not going to tell you. They're not going to tell you they do shit like that. My cousin How we find that shit like that is by somebody they talking to or a homegirl. They're not going to tell you. I mean, like, hey, this nigga just said there was like, blew my phone up. It was like, yeah, I ain't your pussy. And me as a man, the type of man I am, I'm like, nigga, how was that shit even your first play? Like, you you don't even know the bitch. You know me, shit, you know. And you just approach your time out. You tell me, you don't know what's there. You don't know what's in your mouth. Yeah, that's gonna make them holler too, shit. 
I know somebody that don't even ask for numbers. He just gives his number out. <laughs> he don't ever ask for the number. No, I have no one like that. No, he don't. No, he'll walk up and be like, yeah, I know too. I, 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 well, no, I mean, he'll chop it up with him, but then he's like, here's my number. He never says, what's your number? He said, like, okay, well, that, I don't know, you know, whatever he says. Yeah, he's just like, I mean, I've heard that before. Nah, nah, he nah, just I've heard that like that. And his mind is going to cut through the bullshit. Yeah, I come at you like that, boom. <clears throat> See, you either done, damn, this thing, uh, uh, I'm going to hit him up. So he already know you either gonna hit him up or you not. You don't hit him up. So is that the most common line that they just walk up and say stupid shit like that? I guess. Just walk up and I wait for her to make the move. I'm trying to understand what type of game that even is. Like, ugh. Wait for her to make the move.com. Oh, this is good. Let me tell you all your books. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nigga, is that yeah. weak now? I mean, it probably was when I was in the race and you had game. It probably wasn't something you came with. You didn't come with no. It probably worked for him at one point in time. That ain't shit ain't cheesy. Yeah, I don't feel like that's cheesy. I feel like that's just like being like, oh, you know, that's cheesy. But I don't know how cheesy pickup lines. I just, I just feel like dudes, females, period. I feel like everybody should just be authentic, be yourself. So what if he was being himself when he said that dumb ass shit? Oh, well then, I don't know how to talk to you because that's all dumb ass shit. That means you ain't got no faith. That means you ain't got no faith, you ain't got no morals, and you ain't got no faith. No, it was the whole, can you love a person and not trust them? Yeah. This is the one with the uh, relationship, right? Can you love a person and not trust them? Yes. Yes, but the other... (laughs) Did you say what? <laughs> yeah. And we're out. Look at that. Yeah, you can. Not a smart move, though, because if you have a person and you don't trust them, you just causing yourself a whole fucking life of misery. Because for one, you attached to that person. You, if you don't trust them, you worry about them cheating. You worry about them doing this, doing that. You worry, 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 worry. You gonna drive yourself fucking crazy. Y'all be fine. Loving a person that can't trust them. Y'all gonna argue all the time. So you just really creating a whole ball of misery. Should've got somebody with a lower body count. Yeah. Uh, damn. <laughs> well. What that gonna change? Uh, it, 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 he will put your heart if broken. <laughs> Jeez, what do you mean? What is gonna change? What is that gonna change? I'm just throwing the jab. He is a surgeon. Let's carry on. Well, so she got no body. Look, it's easier. It's just a joke. Let's carry on. Look, it's easier. Give me my heart, Jimmy. Give me my heart, Jimmy. It's easier to fix a heart with a low body count than it is to fix a heart with a bad body count. Yeah, it is. I'm damaged. They real damaged. You don't know how long they did in that relationship. Yeah, people that ain't got the money back here. I'm just saying, you know, we yeah. just, I'm just throwing it out there. That's damage. You can, you can, you know, that's hard surgery. Nah, you know, that's I said that when I was 20. I ain't in. I ain't fixing. We ain't doing no fixer uppers. You gotta come home. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna have to be trying to figure out how long they've been in. They've been three relationships. Well, yeah, they've been about through, ten months, ten months every time. Here, okay, can we get out of the house with our thoughts? That's what we're talking about. What are you talking about fixing and hard? <laughs> We ain't fixing nobody. I already gave my answer. I'm gonna go. I, 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 I mean, I, I ain't trust you. Mm-hmm. But you want some time now? No, I ain't. I drank it so damn much. I ain't even drinking much. I had two drinks. So this relationship wise or just pure? Because a oh, lot of it? people love people and don't trust their kids. Well, I, I was just advised don't do it. It's not worth it because nah, you, you, you create a whole world of misery. Then you're going to keep doing that. You're going to keep loving them. You're going to lose trust. I mean, yeah, you can still love somebody, but at the same time, once you lose trust, they your love going to really be, you know, you can regain trust. I mean, yes, you can regain it, but it all depends on the, it all depends on why. Why the trust was gone. Yeah. I love you. I don't trust you. I can love you and I don't trust you. I could be there for you. I'd rather you trust me like Mr. Lamar. I'd rather you trust me first than to love me. Because I don't know if I then we're going to be alright. But if we got love without trust, that's it. Because if I trust you, I trust that you're going to do what the fuck you need to be doing. 
But I don't trust you. I love you. I'm still gonna be down for you, you know. So since she got a headache, we're gonna try to rush this last question about the whole yeah, cheating it. thing. What's the last question? It is the last question. Oh, yeah, no, he got a. Uh, yeah, he got a. It was the uh, and Sierra. And Sierra. So what they was saying. Now, was Sierra it. came in and she said it was a generational curse before we. Not generational, if you ask me, but okay. I don't think it's a generational curse, as far as she said. said it is. She says she okay. I don't know if I'm saying it right or wrong. Either she says she's been married twenty plus years and she ain't never yeah. seen a faithful relationship, or uh, what did she, she say? Married a relationship over twenty years that haven't that the that nobody's cheated or something like that. Like they ain't had a problem. Okay, name a, a if, you feel, if you feel that everybody in the world cheated, something's uh, fucking wrong. Hold on, hold on, everybody hold on, don't cheat. Hold on, hold on. Everybody don't hold cheat. On. Hold on, hold on. And it was just like I was saying earlier. I mean, you said name that person twenty plus years that ain't never cheated. Then you said you were wait. I mean, there ain't no market for hey, this is a faithful dude. I can go on Google right now. Google how many people done cheated. I put up all these celebrities and all this junk of people cheating. But you can't go on there and Google the same thing and find hey, this has been a faithful relationship for twenty years. No, bro, this has been a faithful about relationship for forty years. Nobody ever talked about him cheating. Don't nobody advertise that. So you can't sit here and say that it ain't possible. Barack Obama for yeah. it to happen. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you ain't never heard nothing about him cheating. <laughs> But so no, I'm serious though. There is some relationship where the men don't cheat. As far as it being a generational curse, I, I don't agree with that. I mean, some people believe that. I mean, you look at history. Yeah, it is put in there where they have mistresses and stuff like that. But you know, just off the rip saying that hey, there ain't nobody who's been faithful in a relationship. Period. That's not a fact. Y'all and saying I, truth and facts. This is a fact. That is not a fact. And There's I, a lot of successful relationships where it hasn't been nobody who cheated. And of course, no, I can't pull it off the top of my head because every time you look up something about a relationship, what's the first thing you get? Somebody cheating. Well, somebody being abusive. Somebody this, somebody that. They don't advertise the positive parts of relationships. So I, if you look at society, when you look at relationships, I talk about relationships on this podcast a lot. At the same time, you're going to get more feedback on the negative than you're going to get the positive. So, ain't nobody going to go on their page and be like, hey, look at me. I've been married 15 years and never cheated. Because what's understood ain't got to be said. So, why would you brag on being faithful? What's well, the point? Like Rose Warren. So, they of course. They don't have uh, commercials. They know they probably do. And guess what? I get to put myself out But from that person's perspective, it can seem impossible if you haven't personally seen that. Exactly. Because we all live in one world, but there's a million worlds within a small world. Exactly. Uh, we but all, if you, if we all have our own faithful, reality. If you done been faithful to a cheap motherfucker, you, in a way you have seen it, because you done seen yourself not. You done seen yourself not. Cheating on you. I mean, maybe within yourself, but you don't see it in other people. And okay, but you, we all done had friends where you done seen They've been faithful in their relationship. No matter if the other person cheated or not, they've been faithful. You know what I'm saying? Well, I've seen it, but that doesn't mean that the person asking the question has seen it. So that they're just so speaking from their, so, so you their truth me, and their reality. You're gonna see yourself never be faithful to a person. If you, yeah, the way you see, you know, as me, that means you never see yourself be faithful to a person. Me, you telling me personally? No. Oh, okay. From from you know a person saying what they said, that means you never seen you tell me you never seen yourself be faithful. I mean, it's that's, possible, that's but what I sometimes, wanna... like, sometimes it's hard to recreate something you've never you seen. You've been cheating. Sometimes it's recreate. It's hard to recreate something you've never seen for some people. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. a lot of people call themselves godly people, and one thing he says, is um, believing the unknown. Uh, I forgot how it's worded. To believe in, in, dang it, dang it, it was right on top. I mean, of I, I get your gist, but at the same time, like. I mean, nobody's just perfectly godly. Like, sometimes we get wrapped up in, in what we see. Society. Yeah. Now, tell me tell me one thing. Well, you go on a TV show or her on the radio or even reading a magazine where they say, hey, this is a faithful relationship. Give me one book. But I can give you a million where they talking about people cheating. Because no one really knows... No, I mean, no one really knows because we're not with people 24-7. The I reason why we didn't talk about cheating is because someone got caught. Exactly, but see, they don't advertise negativity sales. 
Yeah. It's just like on TV shows. You see the drama, you see the cheating, you see all that, and you intrigued by it. You go and watch it. Would you watch a TV show where everybody's faithful, everybody in love, everybody happy? No. I don't watch TV. Would you read a book on it? Maybe I've seen some no. shows where it's like this. Exactly. But when you see that drama and all that, you go, oh, okay. Oh, he stepped out. Oh, she stepped out too. Oh, now if you seen, oh, he could have cheated, but he loved his wife enough not to cheat on him. I'm like, damn, this shit poor. Why he didn't just cheat? And then people get a thrill out of it. Dang, he should have cheated. She would have never known he cheated if he would have. Well, people get a thrill out of it. People you know get a thrill I mean? out of it in real life. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy. Some people think that peace. But then turn around and think they want something loyal. It's, it's boring. What? Some people don't, don't know the, the difference between peace and boredom. This relationship is, is boring. boring. No, it's not. It's peaceful. Peaceful. It's not all that drama and all that extra. And you know it's crazy? A lot of relationships break up because it's boring. I'll be like, did he beat you? No. Did he cheat on you? No. I mean, was he broke? No. He was a good person. That's why I said it's, it's boring. boring. Okay, but that's why I agree with you. Listen, but that's why I said if she's not crying, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I said <laughs> And you know what's crazy? That's 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 nah, they need that. some type of drama. Fuck that. I'm sorry. They need some type of drama. Not no, all of them. Not all of them. Not all of them. Just like all of them, all people don't cheat. So y'all need to stop saying that because all people don't cheat. She said, I'll wait. What about these people who stay with males? Y'all shouldn't be me. What about that? What do you mean? Yeah. There's a lot of females out there saying with niggas they know they shouldn't be with. Shouldn't be with. Why shouldn't they be with them? Would you choose would you choose your a male over your child? If you had kids, would you choose a young woman? Depending on what sub I won't even choose my dog. Sir, I wouldn't even put a happen. woman over my over my dog. Sir, so I definitely not doing that on a child. Exactly. I'm not being with nobody that uh You're yeah I have to choose between year. my kid and my child and, and my nigga. Bye. Nigga bye. Cause my child come first. Bye you. With some of y'all stay with, with child some of y'all ass. stay with niggas that beat your ass and won't she you, you cheer and tell you to leave them alone and you don't. They you like that. Beat your ass. That's just they like that. They choose like your that. kids over that nigga. Cause that's who gonna have your back every step of the way. Yeah. And you want them to know that? Me what? I mean, your kids gonna be up for hell. You know what I'm saying? If you take care of you're bringing up some bad memories. What? She put her hands on you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Bro, she told me, this is long, she told me, I'm leaving because you're too good. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Fam, he ain't lying. Keep going. I'm gonna tell you a story, too. What the? No, no I, gotta, I gotta leave because you're too good. You know, I ain't trying to do you like that. Da, 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 da. She was ready. And then I hear. No, she was ready. Uh, just let me know what he's saying. It's like, oh, did you hear about da, da, da? Like, her boyfriend be beating her up. And I'm like, damn. Like, I guess nice guys finish last. Yeah, they do. She was that's ready. No, that's why I, I, I had no. a female on my time too. I told him, no, no, I ain't going to put my hands on you. No, but you shouldn't let nobody change who you are. Because I had a female tell me like this, hey, I like being punched. And I'm thinking, no, look, I'm thinking she's playing, fam. Oh, man. I'm thinking she's playing. And we cool, you know, we wasn't dating. We were talking about dating or whatever. We got to kicking it, everything good. And from time to time, she would do some little slick shit, like pushing it, and like, like bitch, don't push me. Like that's her love language. That, mm-hmm. Thank you. And I'm then right. the bitch taught me like this. I said, "You keep fucking with me, like you want me to really fuck you up." And she told me this: "You too soft." I said, "What you mean?" She said, "At least beat my ass and let me know you give a fuck." I put it on my podcast, my other one, when we was talking about domestic violence. Then you got females that'll sit here and say, dude ain't hood enough. Because he don't do enough hood shit. So they think he'll squirt. Well, I went to school in Plano, so. So you sitting here, work out. you sitting here and you got a lot of dudes that will cut these females off because they like, this bitch is not going to stop until I really knock the fuck out this hoe. And some of them want that shit. Some of them like that shit. Well, there's the thing I can tell you. If you do that, nigga, you know where she don't want shit. 
Why did you say that? What? <laughs> say it again. <laughs> say it again. So, I said something. Yeah, I want to hear it. Yeah, I want to hear it. If you're a good ass dude, and that female tell you she want to cop out, you know what I'm saying? You know what it is? What's up? Most times she be want some, she really just want some raw, hardcore ass sex, and you ain't giving it to her, you still being all sweet with it. I'm still in high school, man. Like, calm down. I still my ass, nigga. That's the wild side. What do you mean? <laughs> high school? school? Hell yeah, yeah. That's when you're trying to see I'm not trying to see him. Hey, I'm in a lot of bras, nigga, in the game. I ain't with turn that over, nigga, but it's my big game, Coach. High school, that's when you out there like, am I really cold or am I just like, singing in the choir Sunday? I was still singing in the choir on Sunday. Coach, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Occasionally. Uh, okay. Hey, like I said earlier, she. Well, I know that now, so it's too late. I'm sorry, you. He's a good dude, ain't he? So what's with this whole? Because I heard females say that that whole aggressive shit. Okay, aggressive sex. Let's just throw that out there. Females say they want that shit, and then sometimes you give them to them, right? And then, and my mind is, y'all have this little aggressive this time, aggressive that time. Mm-hmm. And my mind is like, oh, you like aggressive? So bitch, this would be aggressive the whole time. You gotta make and sure y'all that. ain't like that. Y'all like, no, just that day, nigga, not today. Yeah, yeah. That time I wanted you to be aggressive, but now, and we sitting there, all right, and you let the goddamn dog out. And we like, yeah, bitch. And y'all yeah, looking at us like, oh. Yeah, all that shit. Y'all looking at us like, what are you doing? Motherfucker, you just told me I wasn't aggressive enough last week. That ain't, that ain't, now that I'm that being ain't aggressive, like aggressive, not this won't. time. Not this time. You gotta mix it up. Every, so every, you gotta be aggressive every, sometimes. You know, what it is, 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 you know, because some people feel like they kind of make you a little, yeah. You can't, you can't just be on it all. Slow shit, like, yeah, did you mind? I'm finna make love. No, better right? I'm finna make love to this pussy. You can do it like that, but you know, you gotta have some, some, mm, too, you know, not just. Alright, so I got you. This is what you do. Oh, yeah, shit. So you got this, 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 no, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. With David Ruff. No, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? You got to mix Barry Ruff with David Ruff. You, you, right? you make your playlist, right? You make your playlist, right? I'm my playlist. You have me on the playlist. You have your Usher, you know what I'm saying? A little genuine for like the first, yeah. you know, three or four songs. And then after that fourth song, you just cut on some 3 6 Mafia. Motherfucker! <laughs> Hold on, what my, what my name is, you say, like, fuck it, you the genuine know, and then after that, cut on some Tupac, get the fuck out of here. I mean, the, the playlist just gotta be, jump. gotta be yeah, bipolar, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So you gotta be silk, and then turn around and be, uh, what's his name, young jock, little my mama be up. Yes, and then switch back. Yes, so that's my problem, pussy nigga. Yes, yeah, yeah, sir. It's gotta be, it's gotta be the right rap music, though. You can't just you, the the playlist. So I was kind of playing when I said Three Six Mafia, unless that song hit it from the back. But um, anyways, <laughs> so, you just gotta perfect the, the, the really playlist. Good. You know what I'm saying? And but everything is is duality, man. You, too much of anything is. is so you have to be goddamn near Bravo cop. Well, it's like we say, we we like girls to be. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a woman in the streets and home, that's duality. Correct? Duo. You know what? Uh, I, I had read this book a long time ago. I had went to the library. And I was talking to this cat, and I said, man, I'm trying to read these books on women. Old oh, school cat told me, he said, nigga, you know what I mean? This library all day. I said, why? Well, he said, nigga, I've been in my whole life trying to understand women. And I still don't get it. Nigga, read every book you want to read on a woman. You still ain't gonna understand her ass. She don't even understand her damn self. What if we're not supposed to understand her? <laughs> so, so then, how do you know what to do with what you don't know? If you can't understand a book, how the fuck can you read it? Hmm. I mean, I don't think you can have it down to the T. Yeah. You won't even know a whole person. I mean, I don't know. I don't feel like you have to understand everything. Well, of course, you can't. you can't. Sometimes you gotta know when to bow out. If we debating or we arguing about something, I just don't understand your viewpoint. Sometimes I'm like, alright, I'm gonna let you have it. 
I'm not saying you win, but it's like I, I just gracefully bow out. I don't feel like we can rap. No, I mean, whatever. Can't win them all. True. I let my girl. I let my girl win. Get a woman in. No, win them all. No, listen. One time we was oh, arguing. We I knew I was right, but I was like, man, I don't want the last 10 arguments, man. I'm going to just let her win one. All right, guys. We're going to sum it up. That's it. We done. Hold on. I missed the last part. What? Nope. We're done. No, no. Until next time. On the next episode. <laughs> I said, Taylor, girl, she can't win tomorrow. Let's see what happened. When I would. She's not going to win tomorrow. She's not going to win tomorrow. Look. You don't win the ones out of side. You don't win the ones I let you win. I can't win. I don't feel like arguing. So you ain't going to win no argument. It ain't that. I will. I can't even. We can't, you know, we can't speak on it. You know. You're going to get a headache trying to argue me. I'll run you in circles. You're going to get a headache. And we'll argue like a woman. But the thing of, females don't really be giving down if they want. They just want you to shit. Yeah, see, I want to baby. Shit that you got. Yeah. I just really want you to just say shit. Yeah, you want some shit that shit down. Shut that shit down. And that's the only way you're going to get me to shut that shit down is by telling me I want. But y'all ain't like y'all didn't hear that because I ain't probably telling y'all that. But yeah, that's really what they Y'all never win. It don't matter. We don't give a fuck about really winning. Okay. Well, as long as you cool You need to tell me that I won so we can shut this shit down. And after we shut this shit down, you already know what's coming. You got a 5% win rate. You already know what's coming after we shut this shit down. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> you better get the bitch on that R B in that goddamn uh now, wait a minute. Rap uh <laughs> 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 You know what time it is. I wanna argue with you and I want you to tell me I'm going just so we can go. Uh, hey! Uh, well, hey, y'all better stop really like really like argument. See, you just let me say what I'm finna say, and you heard what I'm finna say. Okay, y'all better stop thinking females don't like have sex like that. We do. It just be shit. Sometimes we don't really be feeling you like that. We if it's with the motherfucker that we feeling like that, and we ooh sexually attracted to. Yeah, yeah, bitch. If I do it every day, I would. So you gotta make a cry. You gotta make a cry. Bro. Nah, you ain't gotta make a cry. Hush. Mm-hmm. You just said you gotta make some drama in your life. You just said that. No. Nah. We saying the same thing. No. So you got to do it. We pretty much so saying the same thing. Who started the argument? Huh? Who started the argument? Most times it's out. Shit. They never started the argument. I finished them, though. <laughs> I can know results may vary. Look, <laughs> all right, y'all. We out. Like I said, leave comments in the. Uh, we will respond. You know what I mean. So the next one we are gonna do, I don't know what it is, but it'll be after the Fourth of July. You know what I mean. <coughs> Shoot, what's wrong? Thank y'all for tuning in, but we out. We out. Like a like a light.